Continue to learn more about what happened in Bristol. We, of course, remember the fallen officers. Chief investigative reporter Sam Smink has also been looking into the suspect. She is joining us live tonight with all the details right near the scene. Sam, what have you been able to find out? Police said earlier today that Nicholas uh, Brutcher's home was known to police, but they did not go into any specific details right now. We also know that sources tell us Brutcher was waiting for police dressed in camouflage with an AR-15. And if you look at his social media, he often posed with guns. Here's a Facebook page belonging to 35-year-old Nicholas Brutcher, the man police say shot and killed two Bristol officers and injured another. In one photo, you can see him holding a long rifle, smiling for the camera. In another, he is holding a deer that has been killed. In yet another, he is seen holding guns alongside friends. Court records show Brutcher got a divorce in 2019. He also had his wages garnished this past year after two separate credit agencies said he owed them more than $8,000. Police had been first called to Brutcher's home on reports of a fight between him and his brother, 32-year-old Nate Brutcher. Nate Brutcher was shot and is in the hospital. Connecticut's assault weapons ban went into effect in April 2013. If you had an assault weapon before then, you were allowed to keep it, but you had to register it with the state. Now, if Brutcher got the assault weapon after that, it would be illegal. It's also important noting that there is a gas station right up the street from this home. And while the workers there did not want to talk about the suspect, they did tell me the officers stopped in there often and the community has lost some great men. Reporting live, Sam Spink, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.